On Tuesday, May 21st, Orient Township Supervisor Chris Barnett visited Wally Edgar Chevrolet on Lapeer Road to take ownership of one 2024 Chevy Silverado EV. With the purchase, Orient Township becomes one of the first municipalities to add this electric vehicle to its fleet. This particular truck comes from GM's Factory Zero Detroit Hamtramck Assembly Center, but GM's Orient Assembly Plant is currently undergoing major modifications to produce this same model in Orient Township. Now before you go running to the Lake Orient chat room to complain about the cost to taxpayers, the township supervisor tells us the purchase was made thanks to a grant. And the amazing news for our residents is we're paying zero dollars for this beautiful $77,000 truck uh, because we're able to find a grant through the federal government, um, an energy efficiency grant that we met the criteria thanks to Ashley Coyle and Sam Timko in our office. So we're getting this beautiful vehicle uh, that will be a, a pool fleet vehicle for our employees to use. Um, and, the, and the pride uh, you know, of the folks from the UAW that are building this car down, in, this truck down in Hamtramck and who will build it right across the street. We can literally see the plant from Wally Edgar Chevrolet. Uh, and again, we're super excited that we're here at Wally Edgar, one of our strong dealership community partners. They sponsor everything in our community, uh, but to be able to, to get this vehicle here has been uh, just awesome. This is the first one that we have that we're selling and it's uh, going to the township. We're just excited to be a part of you know, the, the first delivery of the Silverado EV. Um, they're going to be building them here in Orient Township, so it's it's really a uh, really great opportunity for us. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're special vehicles. Uh, it's got 100% charge right now. It's 385 miles. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's quite a bit. It, it, it's going to beat out the competition for sure. Uh, this truck is is uh, just a work truck right now, but the trim levels go all the way up into, you know, premier uh, trim levels, and, and we're excited to see what comes in and, and, and uh, you know, in the next couple of months to, to the next couple of years. Supervisor Barnett told us he hopes this truck will be the first of many electric vehicles added to the township's fleet over the next several years. I mean, these trucks are a little more expensive than the, than the, um, the traditional fuel consuming uh, trucks, but for us it makes so much sense, just on fuel savings. I mean, I just looked at the range on this thing, it says 385 miles at 100% charge. Um, so for our building, our ordinance enforcement, our parks and rec, our public services, Look, we can plug these things in every night and to not have to do oil changes and not have to, to fill up at the, at the pump. Uh, you, the five or eight thousand dollars uh, higher cost for the upfront cost of these vehicles will be easily realized in savings over the years. And then the other thing is just supporting what's happening here. Um, we will be a Chevy Silverado EV fleet as long as I'm here. We want to support that what they're going to be building across the street uh, and, and put it put our money where our mouth is and, and really um, this is the driving force of our local economy for the next several decades is what's happening here across the street at the plant. Do you see infrastructure meeting the demands of this vehicle? Yeah, I think it's going to take time. Um, you know, that, that stuff is, it's, it's expensive to install, it's expensive to develop, and that, that stuff is coming. Um, there's, it's only, you know, it's really only a matter of time until we see the charging infrastructure able to keep up with the demand. I think that uh, here, here locally at the dealership, we're starting to put chargers in. We just put in four stations over behind in our service department. Um, we made some improves, improvements to our service department to be able to handle some of the electric vehicles that were starting that are starting to come in, and that includes the Silverado here uh, in the community, uh, right there at the township. They started to install some chargers, and the and the government is really, you know, from a from that standpoint, they're stepping in to help too. So whether it's through grants or or through tax credits or or what be it, um, there's going to be a lot more infrastructure coming in the next you know three four five years and i think by by the time that the ev fleet is full and we have more evs that we're selling through the dealership by the time we get to that point we're going to have an infrastructure capable of supporting what's out there the orient assembly plant made the switch to all electric vehicle production in 2020 and is planning to have the first chevrolet silverado ev roll off the assembly line in late 2025 from Wally Edgar Chevrolet in Orient Township, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News.